elementary school student. I have great expectations for myself. I accept the challenge to be the best student that I can be. I am proud of my school. The vision of Oakview is to promote a high performing culture and climate and to inspire our community of learners to achieve academic excellence. I accept the responsibility for my behavior and its results. I am determined to be safe, responsible, productive, and respectful. I have high expectations for myself and I will reach my full potential. I choose to be great. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Oakview. I want to take a moment to bring something to your attention, all of my students, grade kindergarten through fifth grade. Yesterday, I spent time in the cafeteria. I was not pleased. If Ms. Waters is not pleased, then you all lose privileges. So let's talk about it. The four B's are consistent across the entire building. So what are the four B's for the cafeteria? The first B is to be safe. We walk into the cafeteria. We don't run. We walk to the line. There is enough food for every student in this building. Keep your hands and your feet to yourself and make sure that you stay seated once you get your food and you make it to your table. The other thing is to be responsible. Once you've made it to the table, we do not go back to the line. We get everything that we need and you make sure that you stay seated and you clean up around your area. The third B is to be productive. Eat only your food. I saw a lot of people sharing food, touching each other's food. That is unsanitary. You need to only eat your food. If you bring chips, those chips are for you. They are not for the entire table. I saw students arguing over Takis. I was very disappointed in your behavior. And the last B is to be respectful. Be respectful of the lunch monitors. Be respectful of those sitting around you. Be respectful to yourself. Make sure you're using quiet voices in the cafeteria. We aren't screaming at each other at the table. You're talking to the person next to you. Now, what I know is many of you have been to the mall in the food court. Many of you have gone out to eat with family and or friends. The same behavior or, or restaurant etiquette that you use when you're out in public eating with your family is the same etiquette you should use in the cafeteria. You don't go to the restaurant and scream and yell. You don't go to the restaurant and take food from other people's plates. You don't go to the restaurant and be rude and disrespectful to the waiter or the waitress. You're very polite. You say please and thank you. You stay in your seat. You clean up your area. You aren't throwing food in a restaurant. That behavior is unacceptable and it will not be tolerated. I need everyone to make sure when you go into the cafeteria, you are following the four B's and you are on your best behavior. If we choose to do something different, then Miss Waters will take away privileges. We won't have a dance. We won't have ice cream parties. We won't have uh, popsicles and blow pop. We're going to cut all of that out until you all can show me that you know how to behave appropriately in the cafeteria, in the classroom, and in the hallways. You all have been doing a great job, but something has happened over these last couple of days, and I need us to get that back in order. I noticed that we're starting to see a lot of conflicts going on. I need you to notify your teacher, notify your administrator, and notify your counselor so that we can help you solve conflicts appropriately. We do not fight. This is not a fighting or boxing rink. This is a school, and we will govern ourselves accordingly. I appreciate you. I love you. And remember, our vision is we are a high-performing school. We are a high-performing school, and we have a positive culture and climate. So I appreciate you. If you need to make your own adjustments, be the leader make your own adjustments when you get to the cafeteria be the leader that everybody else can follow because you're doing the right thing by following the four b's let's have a great tuesday overview
My name is Dominique Brown, otherwise known as Mr. Brown. I am the new campus security officer at Oakview. Then I'll be the one walking around, checking on students, called to classrooms, just to calm down any altercations and get to know all the students and the teachers at the school. Favorite cartoon is Sonic. Yes, I do enjoy video games. Uh, my favorite video game is Mortal Kombat and I also like PlayStation 5. When I was a kid, when I wanted to grow up, when I, well, when I wanted to grow up as a kid, I wanted to be a zoologist, but I ended up becoming a professional athlete and playing overseas. Uh, professional athlete life, I've been to all 50 states because of basketball. I've played in China, I've played in Mongolia, uh, Australia. I've pretty much traveled the world playing the sport of basketball. My favorite food would be french fries. My favorite snack would be the Welch's fruit snacks. Be great in every aspect that you do. Grow up well and avoid altercations by taking a deep breath and walking away. Be a duck, let the water roll down your back. Be respectful. Be respectful. Be responsible. Be responsible. Be productive. Be productive. And be safe. And be safe. Cause that's the Oak View way. And that's the Oak View way. 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 Safety is everyone's business. Students, support the See Something, Say Something campaign. Anytime you suspect there may be an unsafe situation at school, please, please, please say something to an adult in the building. I repeat, anytime you suspect that there may be an unsafe situation at the school, please say something to an adult in the building. If you see something, say something. Blackfacts.com presents the Black Fact of the Day for September 17th. The Flip Wilson Show premieres on NBC. It was the first primetime variety show starring an African-American male since the Nat King Cole show. During its first two seasons, was the nation's second most watched show. Flip Wilson was born Claro Wilson in Jersey City, New Jersey. His start in comedy began when he was an elementary school pupil. The show consisted of many skits in a 60-minute variety format. It also broke new ground in American television by using a theater-in-the-round stage format, with the audience seated on all sides of a circular performance area. The biggest names in show business guests starred on the show including Lucille Ball, Lena Horne, Muhammad Ali, Ray Charles, and The Jackson 5 amongst others. The Flip Wilson Show won two Emmy Awards out of 18 nominations. From 2012 to 2016, half-hour versions of the show aired on the Aspire Network. 